Leaf. Soma says you're the man who built her longships. That's right. Each has a sharp keel, a stout mast, and a poem etched into the hull to sing the praises of the Dringer who commands her. A longship is heavy with fate. Just a few lengths of wood between you and a watery grave. What better place to put a line of poetry, hmm? Agreed. It's good to fight beside you, Leaf. Likewise, Eivor. Thanks again for plucking me and my warriors from the mire. Galen, is that right? That's right. And you are Eivor, the infinite fighter, or forever warrior. It's a glorious name. Many thanks. You were in a tight spot when we found you. Indeed. The Saxons pursued me, ran me bloody through the swamps and into the lap of bandits. And the wolves came. We all have our one day. The day we die. How you greet that day is all that matters. I'm proud to say that I was ready. Well, it's good to see you breathing still. You are Birna. And you are Eivor's sunbeam. You cut through the fog like the sun burns through ice. You're in high spirits, all things considered. The ambush. Losing your home. In this moment, yes. But ah, you feel that? The moment has passed. We are free to pursue the next. What a gift! It is good to have you in this fight, Birna. I like you, Eivor. You may help me here, or step on me. And by the look of you, I'd welcome either. The day is new, and the air is bracing. Are you ready for the fight ahead? Let's take your city back. That's what I like to hear. Meet me at the western gate of Grantbridge. We've assembled there. Have care you do not enjoy taking orders from anyone but your Jarl back home. I fight for Sigurd, none else. While you're on this ship, Dag, you fight for me. And for Soma's loyalty, we fight for her. Off we go. Is there a sea skull among you? I know a crazed man about my age called Rokur. We are taken to calling Rokur the Roden for his habit of collecting axes. More for 20 sail. years he collected axes of all make and size. He had never seen a day of battle, but he swore to Thor that he would. In his 31st year, after drinking too much ale, Rokur seduced another man's wife. That man called a home gun against Rokur. Rokur accepted the home gun, and on the agreed-upon day, he laid out twelve of his axes and asked, Which of these will I use to slay you? Will it be Bone Splitter? He said. My bearded blade hey, inscribed with Sather Rune. Save it for later. Teams, hidden. One on each side of the door. Move when you get the signal and not a moment before. Wigmund! Honor thief! I know you're up there. Return Grandbridge to me, Wigmund. No more of our people need die. We may talk this out, lord to lord. <laughs> what are we to talk about? You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, even. I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant's armpit. I built this town. From a mud hut to a thriving port. 
And we both know you'll bleed those ridges dry without my guiding hand. Leave! Go die in the muck where you belong, heathens! Wigman! Wigman! Let's try one final time! Quit Grant Bridge! And when she is mine once more, I may spare your life. Ha! I command Grant Bridge! I am master here! And I will scour you rats from this land like rot from a festering wound! Let me give you some advice, old bear. The surest way to stop a wound from festering isn't with a blade. It's with fire! Now! Dames of Brambridgeshire! Retech what's yours! Supply. Protect the fields as we arrive. The waters have calmed. Go on. I'll weather the loss of these whelps. Hide from me forever! Come face your death! Heathen eels! Wigmund is gone! He's gone!
let your plague-ridden body feed my fields. They were to me. No sign of Wickman here. He may be hiding within the city walls. Shall we search? No. He'll be gone. Count on it. Argar coward. But we've struck a bold claim today. Walk with me. I want you to sound our battle horn to announce our victory. Let all the Shire know that Grandbridge is retaken. The sound of the horn means prosperity, long life, bounty. Why me? Why not? You were the keystone to this attack. You turned the tide. Let the wind from your lungs breathe life back into my city. My clan throws the best feasts, I think you'll find. You enjoy yourself? I did. But were you celebrating or mourning? You looked unsure. The night of the attack, I heard sounds of bloodshed coming from the Longhouse. In moments, the city was overrun with Saxons, so I called a retreat. We all have our one day, but not like that. Not that day. I have heard this before, that the Saxons appeared as if from the shadows. In all my time in Grantbridge, this tunnel was my most careful project. The best kept secret in the city. Now a hundred or more Saxons know the smell of it. The only people who knew about this tunnel were me, and the three in my inner circle. You believe you were betrayed? I know I was. By whom? That is where I hesitate. Between Leif, Galen, and Birna, I cannot say. But they are the three who helped me dig this in secret. I hoped you might lend me your wits. You are a fresh ally. I could use your eyes and ears. I promised you I'd help secure your city. That task isn't yet done, it seems. Good. I sent Galen, Leif, and Birna to destroy what remains of Wigman's power throughout the Shire. Meet with them. Raid with them. Get to know them as best as you can. Find out which of them betrayed me. I'll do what I can, but you know your warriors far better than I do. Between you and me, my heart is clouded. I love these three as if we shared a womb. I need clear, sound judgment. I need you, Eivor. You have me. Thank you. Feel free to take a look around as you wish. Search the city, the tunnel. And here, a gift. For retaking Grandbridge with us. One of the few things I have left from my blood family. 